question I keep thinking about is if there were no numbers in life, we didn't know the concept of numbers, would I be more in rhythm with, with nature and life? Namaskaram Prasoon, I know you are a magician of words, you don't like numbers <laughs> Well, once you say me and you, well, there are two. Or even if you say myself, then there is one. Once there is one, then ten, hundred, thousand, million is just a natural consequence of that. So the moment you say me, you already created a number. The number is not only about how old are you, what time is it, when did I sleep, when did I wake up, it's not just about that. You and me itself are two numbers. So myself itself is a number. The only way to be beyond numbers is to be... is called a shunya. Yoga means no number. Why yoga means no number means the word yoga essentially means union, which means it is the science of how to obliterate the boundaries of your individuality. Obliterating the boundaries of your individuality means the first basic number, one, that is me, is obliterated. Once you take away one, what is a million or a billion or a zillion means nothing, everything is a zero. So, yoga means obliteration of numbers. Yoga means union. Union means no you and me, no many, there is just one. But there is not one, there is none. So, this is referred to in many different ways. It's called a shunya, it is called a shiva, which means actually that which is not. That which is not cannot have numbers, only that which is has numbers. So, numbers are a natural consequence of physical existence. Only when one transcends the physical existence, there is a numberless existence. When we say something is limitless, we are also saying it's numberless. When we say something is boundless, we are also talking about no boundaries. No boundaries means there is no one or two. So numberless existence is possible only when there is an absolute state of yoga or union. That's what we're trying. This is my effort in my life to take people into that experience of numberlessness. But keep the magic of words going, <laughs> Prasoon. Magic of numbers is also beautiful in the form of mathematics as magic of words are. So both words and numbers are not two different things because there is one word means there will be many words, there is number one means there will be many numbers. All this is a consequence of physical manifestation of existence. If one transcends the physical, then we use the most corrupted word spiritual, what spiritual means is a numberless existence.